Hi, I'm Omri from Asserto. At Asserto, we believe in the value of externalizing authorization out of your application. And I'm going to show you a demo that shows the power of that. The demo is going to be of a corporate directory application we call PeopleFinder. I'm logged in as a user named Ewan, and Ewan is a viewer of the application. So, for example, he can uh, view anybody's card and see their phone number and department and title, but he can change information, personal information, uh, about other users. Uh, but he can his own. So if we go to Ewan's card, logged in as Ewan, and try to change uh, his phone number, we should be able to do that because Ewan is Ewan. Now we have other roles in this application. For example, Chris. Chris is actually an admin of, if we uh, you know, look at what she can do, uh, she could basically update people, she can delete people, uh, and so on. And that's because she's an admin in this application. Um, now, the way that this uh, policy is implemented is through an Asserto uh, authorization policy. So let's go look at uh, some of the modules in this policy. First, there's a delete uh, policy that stands for that delete button or the delete functionality. You're not allowed to delete users unless you're in the operations group and you're an IT manager. Uh, so this is what's known as an ABAC policy. The delete button is not even visible unless you're in the operations group and it's enabled if you're allowed. So here we have a clever policy that combines uh, both uh, determining whether you're allowed to do something and providing UI hints to the front end of the application. Here's another uh, module that stands behind that edit button. And so Ewan can edit his own information because uh, we have an allowed clause here that says that the logged in user's key uh, is equal to the resource that we're trying to edit. And if so, allow that. So Ewan can uh, modify his own information or any, anybody in the operations group can do that as well. And lastly, the policy that stands behind that update button uh, basically says that only people who are in the operations group are allowed and the button is enabled only if you're allowed to perform the operation. So far, pretty simple to understand. And we have uh, this commented out uh, block that we'll get back to later. So what if we want to actually add some more functionality to this application and allow a uh, manager to update uh, their direct information? Let's go back to PeopleFinder and look at that particular scenario. So Ewan's manager uh, is April. And if we go to uh, Ewan's card again and see if whether April is allowed to update Ewan, turns out that she can't because she is not an admin. Let's go change that by changing the policy. So let's go back to the console. And now we're gonna introduce something called relationship-based access control. So all of this data comes from the Asura directory and we can find Ewan over here and see that uh, Ewan has a set of properties. For example, department and the title, all that stuff is stored in the Asura directory and comes from an identity provider. But we also store relationships, including management relationships. So here we can see that Ewan works for April uh, and April works for Edward and so on and so forth. And we're gonna take advantage of that in the policy. So let's go back to our policy here. And all we need to do is rebind this policy instance to a new version of that policy that we created that uncomments those lines. So we're gonna save that change over here. We're gonna go back to the modules. We're just gonna make sure that that module got updated. When we refresh, as we can see, we have a new allowed clause. It says, if the logged in user is the manager of the user that we're trying to update, then allow that operation. And let's go back to the application. Let's go back to Ewan. And as you can see, now April actually has this button enabled. We didn't have to redeploy the application. It's just there. And now April can give Ewan his much uh, deserved promotion to sales manager. But now if she tries to update her own uh, title and department, she can't do that. Why? Because April is not her own manager. And so as a summary, we've been able to go update that authorization policy for this application without having to redeploy it. And that's the power that you get from externalizing authorization. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, come and find us at asurdo.com. You can sign up and create an account or come find us on our Slack and ask us any questions. Thank you so much and have a great day.